This video is also from electrical machines, chapter number eight. And here we'll be solving end chapter question 8.22. And this is also on the request of a student. So first of all, uh, let's recap the theory of uh, separately excited DC generator. This is the armature part and this is field part. In the field, we have a fixed resistance and we have an adjustable resistance. And the combined may be called as RF. And so from here, the current field current IF can be written as the voltage divided by total resistance RF. And from here, the since this is generated, the output voltage uh, VT should be less than the generated voltage because of the voltage drop here so the formula here we can write that vt that is the output voltage is generated voltage minus the drop now if we can control or if we can vary ea then we can vary vt now ea depends on this uh, according to this formula k is constant it depends on the flux phi which depends on the field current and it also depends on omega m the rotational speed so if change in speed so if the speed is increased ea will increase and if ea increases then vt will increase similarly field current if field current is increased then the flux will increase and when flux increases ea will increase and when EA increases, VT will increase. Okay, now this is the question given. A magnetizing curve for a separately excited DC generator is shown in figure. The generator is rated at 6 kilowatt, 120 volt, 50 ampere, and 1800 RPM. And this is shown here. Field current is given, and these are some of the parameters. The important parameters is the R adjustment. So R adjustments range is from 0 to 40. And we have to find these two answers. The first one, sorry, if the generator is operating at no load. Now what does this mean? When it is operating at no load, that means no current is flowing through this. And since no current is flowing, no drop will be here. And therefore, the generated voltage Ea will be equal to the terminal voltage Vt. Okay, with this condition, we have to uh, find what is the range of voltage adjustments that can be achieved by changing R adjustment. So, what is the minimum and maximum output voltage uh, that we have to find? In the second scenario, the rest, uh, resistance has been reduced, that is 0 to 30 ohm. But one more thing has been introduced, that is the generator speed. Now here the generator speed was fixed to 1800 RPM. But here the generator speed is varying from 1500 to 2000 RPM. And so in this case also we have to find the maximum and minimum no load output voltage. So the first case generator is operating at no load, what is the range of the voltage adjustments that can be achieved? by changing R adjustment. So first we'll take the lower range. So when R adjustment is zero, we get IF maximum, and that is six ampere. And when R adjustment is maximum, that is 40, then IF will be minimum, and its value is two ampere. Now for these two maximum and minimum currents, we have to find the output. Okay, so we'll take help of the generator. This curve is drawn at 1800 RPM, and our machine is also operating at 1800 RPM. So keep that point in mind. Now for IF6 ampere, we'll use this graph to find the uh, EA or the uh, graphical EA, uh, we can say EA0. So for 6 ampere, EA0 is 135 volt. 
So EA0 is 135 volt at 1800 revolutions per minute. And since the actual speed is 1800 also, therefore the maximum no load voltage will be same as that of the graph voltage. That is EA1 we can say, or simply EA, which is equal to the terminal voltage will also be 135. Now, keep in mind, if there was a different speed, if, if these two speeds were not same, then we will have to use this formula, which we'll use in part B of this question. Okay, now case two, when IF minimum is two ampere, so for two ampere, we get the EA0 79.5. So that will be the our output voltage, and this will be, of course, the minimum no load voltage 79.5 volt so this is part a now part b as i mentioned there are two variations this is from 0 to 30 and the speed is from 15 to 2000 so the first case we take the r adjustment with zero it is six ampere as we calculated earlier as well and so from the graph it is 135 volt. Now, since the speed is different, we have to use the formula that I mentioned. Now for, for I maximum, we have to use the maximum value of speed because maximum speed generates maximum voltage. So for the magnetizing curve, EA0 at 1800 RPM is 135. Since the actual speed is 2000 RPM, we have to use this formula. So plugging in the values uh, or to find EA, from here we get this equation. Now we'll plug in the values. 2000 is the actual speed now. This is the graph speed. This is the graph voltage. So the actual voltage will be 150. So actual output voltage or uh, at no load is 150. And this will be, of course, the maximum voltage. Now let's see the minimum scenario. For the minimum, the resistance is now 30. So the minimum current will be 2.4 field current. And again, from this graph for field current 2.4, the uh, EA0 will be 93.1. The same technique, but now we'll be using this lower resistance, because uh, lower uh, speed, because for lower speed, we get lower voltage. So EA0, we found 93.1 at 1800 RPM. Since the actual speed is 1500 RPM, we'll use this formula. And from here, we just plug in the value, 1500 here, 1800 from the graph, this is from the graph. So the actual voltage is 77.6 volt. So this is the minimum no load voltage or the minimum no load terminal voltage. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.